back to my channel. I'm Tia and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you. You can become one of my little dolls. If you're already one of my little dolls, hi dolls. So happy to have you here. Today we have a wig review and I'm really loving the wig that I'm wearing now. I got it from wigs.com and it's their forever young line. So I have one more that I haven't reviewed from them and I'm just like feeling this one. So I thought, let me get this other chick out and see what she's talking about. And this one that I have here is called Picture Perfect. I have her in the color HL4 slash 27. So let's get her out to come in this beautiful box. I scooped up this doll baby from, like I said, wigs.com. The price for Picture Perfect was $40.99, but I did get it on a 30% off sale. So I got a bunch of stuff at a very, very, very reasonable price. So this is Miss Picture Perfect, and this is that color. Um, you can see that it's slightly more brown and this is a little bit more ashy toned. I just love the dimensions on their color mixes. She does have the faux scalp. This is a full cap wig, no combs in the front, no combs in the back, adjustable straps. So let me get her on and see what Miss Picture Perfect's talking about. The wig that I'm wearing currently right now is Vintage Vixen, I think. Vintage Vixen. Mm -hmm. but let's see what Miss picture perfect has if she has anything on vintage vision if she has anything on vintage fiction because i really like this so let's get this chick on okay chicky d all right let me see what we got going on here i did adjust the straps i don't find that these caps are particularly like large large but they are very comfortable uh, the part is just on the opposite side of Vintage Vixen. I feel like they look quite similar, although this chick's density is a little bit less, and she's a little bit different in style. So let me get this chick together, and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. I really really am enjoying this wig. She's a little less dense than the vintage vixen The bangs I really like it. I try to do the side sweat bangs the bangs for me like, you know, they can go either way I'm just really worried about bangs in my face So I'd probably have to play with them a little bit more, but I do like how you can sort of tuck it back like this I have my curling iron up a little bit high and I was looking it does say um, no heat over 350 degrees um, I, uh, I usually probably have my thing more towards 400, but I'm not positive because it just has dials. It doesn't have like a temperature setting. I did actually singe the wig just a little bit, although I feel like because it singed, it actually gave it some of uh, texture that to me makes it look a little bit more realistic, but I don't recommend that. Um, so really be careful with your settings. I, I can't even tell you the last time I've actually singed a wig. So be careful with your heat settings uh, when you're using for this wig. Finish length, she's not too, too dense. Finish length is gonna be in that 14 to 16 inch range. There's some layers, but not a ton. Let's look from the beak. Yeah, she's super cute from the back, I think. Yeah, she'd be cute in like a little cute updo. For sure. I was feeling, okay, I feel it, it's better now. I was feeling some weirdness in the crown. There is a little bit of filler fiber there to give a little fullness, which is fine. But from the front, I couldn't tell that that's what was going on. And I don't like weirdness in the crown because I feel like that gives away 
um, your synthetic wig. I feel like it'd be cute like with clipped over like that. But yeah, I think for the price, I definitely think this is great for the price at the 30% off. But I don't like it for the full price. Um, I like the vintage Vixen a little bit better for the full price. But I definitely could rock with this chick. I just think that she's probably worth closer for me uh, that 30% off of the 40. So, anywho, that's what I have for you for this Forever Young wig. If there's another Forever Young wig you would like me to review, go ahead and put that down below. If there is another wig from wigs.com, put that down below. Uh, if there is any other wig you want me to review, put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.